Hey, this is Ronnie. And this is Reese. And, and this, this is Soft 30. 30. And of course, we have DJ Q Waves and we have D. How y'all doing? Good morning, How y'all guys. Doing? Hello. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> What's going on, Reese? Looking okay. like the sun in the inside. Oh, uh, it you know, it's all orange like in here. You saw me do like this because I had to look to see what color the light was. They were cute. Thank you. Why you buy me some? Um selfish. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> uh my week was pretty pretty okay. It was boring. Um for real, for real. Uh I had to let uh Kiki use my work car because her range is in the shop. So I don't, I'm like without wheels for right now. Cause y'all know I got pulled over a couple weeks ago and they told me I can't ride around with my dealer tags. I was like, you little bitches. <laughs> and he don't have the goddamn title yet. And so I'm just like, ugh. How long do it normally take for a title to come? I it's it's quick. Like a- I don't know. I don't know what's going on with his process now, but he says it's taking longer because of COVID. So, but I'm yeah, like, excuse. right. I'm like, <laughs> I, I, I feel like I should see what I got to do to, cause the rest of the money that I owe him for the truck, I'll just use that to get a new title, but I don't know how I'm supposed to go about it. I know I got a bill of sale and stuff like that. So I'm trying to be patient, but you said I probably the dealer don't have the title. Yeah. So I bought it before the title came in. I paid him half. He gave me a bill of sale. I got all his information, his dealer license, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then, you know, um, I got, I paid the other half when I where, get the title. Where, where did he buy the car from that he don't have the title? Uh, I'm assuming he got it from an auction and then had to put title, the title. Title got to be at the auction. Uh, yeah, but I think he went to get the title in his name and oh, then. he already transferred. Right, right. Okay. So is he waiting on the state then? Yeah, pretty much. Got it. So I really don't think he is like scamming me or anything like that. A couple people uh, do. I don't think so. Um, but you but, can give him the whole amount. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, and I'm like, I, I'm pretty sure it's it's a probably a lengthy process, but I'm pretty sure I can go through the process of just getting the title myself. No, nah, like like for DC right now, like if you if you purchase a new car, you can't even get your appointment for six... Uh, like, yeah, like six months. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. Because when when I first got the car from him, I was going to set up my appointment to to get my tags because I was like, I, it's going to be a while before I could even get... You should set up your appointment. Now. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so I guess I'm going to go ahead and do that because I was like, yeah, it's, it's definitely going to take a while. My, my appointment is in January. Dang. Wow. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because they only taking a certain amount of people at a time? Yeah. Like on the inside? Yeah. Only by appointment. And I, I was going to say, you can't well, be walking at all. Out there. Um, I, I think a lot of people don't know the exact process, oh. and then they be going down there and getting yeah, their ass turned too. away. Because <laughs> I really don't think they're doing walk-ins. It's only by appointment. Yeah. That's what I read. That's what I saw. <laughs> so, I was like, uh, oh, well. But um, but yeah. So without a car, I'm just like a boring old person. Like I, I was like today, I ain't gonna do nothing. But I really don't even want to do anything today anyway. It's raining. If it's if the sun comes out, I'll probably take night to her godmom house to get in the pool. But otherwise, I think I'm gonna chill. I kind of got a long day tomorrow too because I got the photo shoot. Um, and then I um, got plans with like some friends. So I'm just like. I don't know. I don't know. I just want to chill. Like, sometimes I just want to chill. And last night was actually fun. I went out last night, and that was super fun. Who's photo shoot? Ronnie and I. Birthday photo shoot. But we actually added on, we have a birthday twin that we met two years ago. She added us. Yeah. <laughs> so. so she she does photo shoots all the time. And she know we do photo shoots every year for our birthday. Mm-hmm. So she was like, hey, let's do it together. I'll plan everything. Y'all show up. And I was like, like... She bought the outfits and everything. Was yeah, like, she bought my outfit too big, so I had to rebuy <laughs> mine. But I was just, I was like, cool. Like, I, I like when all I have to do is show up. Mm-hmm. Like... <laughs> Thank you, y'all. You can have some champagne there for us. Like, <laughs> shit, I'll bring the champagne. <laughs> Fuck that. Like, you know, so I'm just like... Yeah, so I'm, I'm a little excited about it. I'm, I'm excited and nervous. 
Um, because she she got, you know, got the, the breasts and the ass. And I'm yeah, I'm just like, my skinny ass is gonna be all beside her, all skinny. <laughs> The I'm going to ask them, the, the picture person, like, can you uh, edit my butt out a little more? Yeah, he better, he better edit me. He better <laughs> edit my butt. I'm not playing. Like, I'm be, no. Edit, edit the shit out of me, okay? <laughs> so, um, but I am excited about it and stuff. Um, but, yeah, I mean, outside of, like, going out last night, that was, like, the only fun thing I really did. Um, Naya had freshman orientation. So... We, you know, we was working on that, like, whole fucking um, online school shit. That shit is so fucking annoying. Like, I'm so glad that she's in high school and can fend for herself. Because if I had to, like, stay there during the whole time to help with classes, mm-hmm. I would be going fucking nuts. I don't know how these parents going to do this. Girl. <laughs> like, especially, the, like, Shanita got her son starting pre-K-3. Mm-hmm. How? Like... <laughs> What do you, what do you do for these pre K three kids? Uh, girl, I don't freaking. Know. It's, it's just crazy. it's a mess. I'm just like I don't got no time. But um, Naya had applied for all AP classes, and they only gave her AP history and AP English. And she is so mad because she wanted AP biology and AP math. Wow. So I was like, I was like, don't worry about why it. Do that? Just it, 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 I, I, I don't know. Um, I don't know exactly why. Um, but I was like, just go and thrive in those classes like you always do. And then they're going to say, oh, well, you know, she deserves to be in AP classes. Right. Because um, to my not, like she has never been in DCPS school. But back when I was in a DCPS school, um, you know, if the, if you are advanced, they, they normally don't hold you in that spot. They, mm-hmm. they, you know, make sure that you thrive, you know, because they don't want you to get bored and stuff. So hopefully it's still that same energy where, you know, they'll advance her to AP classes mm-hmm. once they realize that she deserves to be there. Okay, yeah, hopefully. They probably didn't want to overwhelm her. Maybe. Her whole schedule is retarded, though. Like, she wakes up in her first class at 9 a.m. is Latin. <laughs> I was like, you poor baby. Thank you. The classes you wanted. Then they going to stick Latin in your face first thing in the morning. Then right after that, she got English. I was like, oh, God. But I'm kind of happy they gave her the classes that she's not really interested in first. Because mm-hmm. then by the time she gets to the math and the science, she'll be, you know, back up and ready mm-hmm. for, you know, ready for it, as opposed to getting those done first, you know, the easy ones first, and then she's going, right, mm-hmm. right. So, I don't know, man. It's all it's all stressful for me, so I know it's stressful for her. I was just like, let me know whatever you need help with, and I'm going to help it. We're going to Google some shit. We're going to bother some teachers. We're going to do whatever the fuck we got to do mm-hmm. and go from there. Good luck. Girl. To all the parents, good luck. Man, what? <laughs> Oh, y'all got more than one child. I just, I, I sympathize for you. Mm-hmm. I'm so sorry for this, you. Um, <laughs> this, sorry to cut you off with your check-in, but, and it's kind of part of my check-in, but one of the um the ladies that do work with us in the neighborhood, she don't work for my company, but she worked mm-hmm. in the neighborhood. Um, She got 11 kids. I'm like, 11? And she's like, yes. I said, they real? You're like, your real kid? Mm-hmm. You, know, you know, some people like claim, like, I got... Mm-hmm. These kids like claim other people's kids and shit. So I'm like, she know she got real like eleven kids. They all in one house. She was like, if one person gets sick, it's a wrap for us. You better make sure everybody is good and safe. And right, girl. Mm. Oh, yeah. I cannot fucking imagine eleven in in, in in elementary school. Girl, well, my all night elementary school, but a good hunk of them. Right, my um my friends, the married couple. They they're a uh, sister like sister-in-law or something she has 10 kids and then she always getting their baby too that's 11 it's crazy. how do you have that many kids how how can you go through that 10 everybody times? pick a corner everybody pick a corner right now <laughs> oh my don't move like <laughs> mm. i would go crazy but yeah shout out to everybody that can handle multiple kids yeah. y'all like y'all the real superheroes of the world like yes. i'm i'm being like really fucking serious when i say that Kudos to y'all. Yeah, y'all got it. But yeah, anyway, that I mean that's pretty much it with my check-in. Like, like I said, I 
It was boring. Didn't do much. Oh, remember I told y'all, oh, that was last weekend when I talked to Saki, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. So um, I said, last week on the podcast, I said I was going to talk to Saki that we, you know, we ain't speaking stuff. And well, you said anyway, you're an Asian friend. Yeah, my Asian friend. But, um, <laughs> <Correcting>. well, <laughs> well, you know, so we had our uh, our talk um, last weekend after the podcast and stuff. And we're friends again. And I'm super excited. Yeah. Our talk was like five minutes. Like, it was not a, <laughs> you know, it was just like a, hey, well, I felt this way. And she was like, well, I felt this way. And I was just like, okay, well, the conversation we friends that could have went down the same yeah. week that it happened. Uh huh, probably. Um, but I did need time to get over it because I was mad. So, mm-hmm. you know, but yeah. So, I mean, other than that, like, mm hmm. No, nothing else has been happening. I did have fun last night. I was dancing. And y'all know I can't dance. And Ronnie be just sizing me up like I can. You got way better. You got way better. I ain't lying. Oh. Mm-hmm. Kiara wrote on the post too and was like, oh, Reese, you got um so much better. And I was like, ah, see, that's why I be dancing in the club because mm-hmm. these niggas be sizing me. Like, <laughs> stop sizing it. Your rhythm is on. You was going to the beat. You did a little wine thing. I was like, oh, you showing out. Oh, okay. Ah, girl. <laughs> Oh, you know what else I was thinking about? Because this made me think about it because it was the pole in the club last night. But I was thinking about putting a pole in my living room. Um, I haven't decided yet. No. No? Mm-mm. Or is, can you can you want to take it up and put it down? Right. And that's the, that's the thing. Okay. I don't want one of those. But I think that's what I would have to get because I would have to keep moving it. Yeah. But those are the dangerous ones, aren't they? Are they really no, secure? No, if you do it right, yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. and well, you gotta get that anyway because the we don't have uh, it's concrete ceiling. Yeah, we have concrete ceilings here. Yeah. So you gotta yeah. Get that. okay. Well, yeah. Anyway, I was thinking about getting a pole, um, not for like sexy dancing for anybody or anything like that, it but work out. I think yeah, I I think I want to learn how you know. First of all, I can build a lot of upper body strength, mm-hmm. but you know, I just want to learn how to dance on a pole. It's you easy. Know? If it's not slippery. So, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, other than that, I say that like three times and then still was talking. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> for real, this time, it's, that's it. I'm bo- I've been boring lately. I see. Well, I mean, it's not really much to do. Like, I was working all week. Oh, we did some outreach this week. So, we went over to, like, Clay Terrace and because we, on Monday, we giving out school supplies and stuff. So we went over to Clay Terrace and was like passing out the flyers and stuff, trying to talk to people. And it's really not a lot of people that live there. Most people move. Oh. Yeah. I mean, it's uh, maybe about, I, I don't know. I can't even count like how many, but it's not, it's like really empty. And it's kind of sad. I'm like, dang. Like, so no no people are moving in or are they getting the people out so they can they, knock yeah, it down? They, 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 it's everything going to be gone. They're going to build it up for them, them whiteys. Sorry. But. Well, yeah, I was going to say, well, hopefully it's for, it, yes. you know, affordable no, for DC good. residents. No, no, no. It's not going to be affordable. Mm-hmm. It's going to be like really, really expensive. Mm-hmm. Um, and I did see this house when we was walking around there. I seen this house. Oh my goodness, it's for sale. Mm-hmm. I want it so bad. So I'm like, how much you want it so bad? How much does it cost? I don't know. So this was listen. I I I got the number and I was gonna call them so I can go and see the inside and stuff. But then when they'd be like, you know, you ready to buy? Because I'm not quite ready. I'm I'm getting well, ready. Just take the address and put it in Google. So on sale, you can see the inside, the pictures. I want to go in. All right, but yeah. I think you should just go in and see what happens. Because who says you're not quite ready? You're right. Uh, well, let, uh, a seller can request uh, pre-approval or proof of funds before showing the house. Um, people don't want just people mm-hmm. just walking in there. Mm-hmm. I want it so bad. I can't stop thinking about it. So, But you didn't Google the address? No. I I didn't know to Google the address. Google the address. I didn't think about it. I was like, I'm going to call them. They'd be like, hey, mm-hmm. I'm interested in this house. Um, but yeah, okay, I'll Google the address. Um, but yeah, so aside from that, like that was like the highlight of my week seeing that <laughs> seeing that house. I'm like, all right, address. Um, but yeah, so Monday we're gonna pass out some school supplies to the neighborhood and stuff. And oh my goodness, so some we had a meeting the other day, right? 
And like we have a a council team that actually lives in Clay Terrace. So one of the ladies is like, well, um, people come to me and asking me how they can they get devices for their children and they don't know and blah, blah. School started Monday for some schools and then the other schools start this Monday coming. So I'm like, how do kids don't have laptops? So then we like, all right, fine. So we called in the schools to see like who, um, what days they're giving out the, the laptops or uh, tablets or whatever. So I'm not getting no answer. So I'm like, okay, well, I can see where the parents coming from because they didn't get an answer. So then I called one of my cousins who already got the device. So I'm like, hey, how did you get this? And she's like, well, they were sending out emails and they was calling. Okay. So either the people who didn't get the calls don't have a phone or, or don't have an email or don't have a access to a computer to get their email. So I'm like, okay. So then I go to the schools, <clears throat> which they could have did. I go to each school, middle school and elementary school that's around here because that's the schools I had. So then I went and got all the information. So I took it back to the to everybody. But some of the schools ran out the first day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Some of them um, didn't get in yet. Like Drew don't know when they're going to get it. But the school started Monday. They have no clue. So I'm like, okay. So because, you know, sometimes you'll be like, okay, well, maybe the parents being lazy or don't want to go and find the information. No, they really didn't know. I mean, they could have went to the school. Some of them did. Um, they was there and they just passing out stuff. But. It's crazy. So half the, the people probably not even going to have. I think it's definitely going to be a struggle starting out um, mm-hmm. for this whole virtual if thing. If you want to get results, find out whatever ward that is in. Contact the council member for that ward. And then you'll get the answers within a, a week. So we, we I didn't think about doing that, but we was reaching out to different organizations that has laptops so we can provide them that. No, this is what you do. But, um, Call the council member for their mm-hmm. award and be like, listen, because I'm about to post this shit online and tweet about it and we might have to protest. Mm-hmm. What we going to do? Watch. Okay. I don't know who the council member is, and it's crazy because it's... Okay. You can Google it. It's, 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 it's <laughs> very easy it. to yeah, find. I'll find it. it's, it's pretty easy to find. Yeah, it um, That's a shame, though. I should know that. You know? I, no, I don't know. Okay. Um, for, for which ward? Seven. Oh, that's... um. Eleanor. No, no, no. She is... A- all right, let's move on. She's not a council. Let's move I, I, I'm not even going to do this right. Let's move she, on. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck she is. I was just naming people. <laughs> right. Naming people high up. If I keep naming enough people, I'll, I'll name that council. You'll get it right. <laughs> um, but, the yeah, Vincent so, Gray. and then... The Vincent Gray. Oh. 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 Hmm. <laughs> um... So, yes, yesterday was fun. It was definitely pouring the fuck down, raining. And I'm mad because I could have been there if I wasn't waiting for Reese and Saki. But I ain't going to speak on it. It's Again, fine. Reese ain't having no car, so she had to raid on Reese. But we had a fun time in the park anyway before we went out to the bar. It was fun in the park. Yeah. I, I was like, man, we are not going to have fun in this rain. But I actually had a really make, nice you time. Gotta fun. You got to make fun wherever you go. The, not in the rain, what park, man. What park did you go to? Right down the street. Uh, it's it's Benning, uh Something. It's called. It's technically Anacostia Park, oh. but is is by a uh, river terrace. Is that side of the mm-hmm. Anacostia Park? Have you ever rode that bike trail, or any of you? I on the other side of the the river thingy, I walked that that path. It's actually a nice path. It leads mm-hmm. you right to the Anacostia Park. Um, you go by these train tracks. I, I love train tracks for some reason. Mm-hmm. Like I I don't know why. You know what I want to do, and I'll probably do it at some point. Just doing something crazy. But I really want to hop on a train and while get off moving. where, yeah, and just get off wherever. Like it, while it's moving past you, just jump on it? Yeah. And, and then, then get off wherever it stops. Um, Like uh, whatever city I end up in is whatever city I end up in. That would be cool. I, I think guess. stuff like that is dope as fuck. I feel like I probably to, like, I probably did that in my past life, and that's just why I want to do it again. What if it takes you to an old like town like the Texas Chainsaw? Then I'm going to roll. They're going to cut your legs off. Or like cabin fever when they got like stuff in the water. Think about that. That stuff be for real. (laughs) (laughs) She a mess. (laughs) But yes. Um, That's it for my checking because I ain't even doing nothing else. I'm getting a tattoo today. 
I'll show y'all next week. Anyway, so let's move on. So I got a couple things I just want to get y'all opinions on. So this first one, in your case, whoever your significant other is, because you, you don't have a man. And so how do y'all feel about... They don't have a man well, What do you either. think? What, I mean, but they the man. Oh. They can say... Anyway. From the, okay. No. <laughs> should, if you are in a relationship, should the man fix his own plate? Or sh if y'all are in a relationship, should y'all fix your own plate? And should you fix your person's plate? It depends. If I'm cooking, yeah, I'm going... Cooking. Yeah, if I'm cooking, then I'm going to make your plate because I'm already in there. I'm mm -hmm. not going to cook and then leave out the kitchen and say, all right, fend for yourself. Like, no, mm -hmm. I'm going to make your plate because I cooked. I'm in the kitchen. But if you cook, then I expect you to make the plate because okay. you are in the, you know, in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's that, you know, that big of a deal, you know, and stuff like that. But, I, I you know, I used to read stuff that used to be like, who eat, who gets served first, kids or your man? The dogs get, well, the dogs get served. Oh, I would think the kids got it. No. I, um, well, I make all the plates at one time, but I did... Normally no. would serve Naya her food first. No, not no. The, they might serve first. They might sit down and eat first. But the adults supposed to get the choice cuts. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, well, sure. when you put it like that, that's <laughs> different. But I, mm -hmm. I guess me, like, no, I know kind of like what, right? What the pe yeah? So it's like I, I know what what to give you, you know? Mm -hmm. Right. As long, but the adults supposed to have first choice. Mm -hmm. that, I mean that makes sense but then um, I, I saw something else that was like well um, and the lady asked the man she was like when she said who who eats first it's, it's, and then he said ain't nobody eating until my wife sit down so like it don't uh, matter so she uh, he's like okay well yeah she brings the food to the table I'm here the kids here but nobody touch their food until the wife sits it, down it's, cool. it's like it, that makes it, sense it's different rules different etiquettes for different foods and all that because it all has different like I agree if it's just a normal dinner whoever's cooking should be preparing the plates um uh well unless it's something like maybe tacos or uh, right. uh like if it's a food that people eat individually that are individually uh uh what specialized or whatever then maybe they can add whatever the toppings or whatever but yeah it's not a big deal like some people are still like oh i but a lot of a lot of guys don't cook you know what i'm saying so it's it's a little different you know I mean? mm -hmm. but mm. um i think that I mean, I agree with y'all with whoever cooks, but I mean, like, if you're out, like, at a gathering, a family dinner, or cookout, or whatever, I think that the girl or the you should serve. The, I, in this case, me being a, a female, I think I should be able to, to serve my man because, like, with mom, she always makes dad plate first and give it to him, and then she go and make hers, and then she eat. No, yeah, that's... that's but that, that's... Yeah. I don't know with situations like that. I guess it depends because if we at my people function, I, I of course I'm going to make your plate. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but if I'm at your people function, I kind of want you to make my plate. Well, well <laughs> it's, 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 it's about if, if the person is still a guest at a family function, then you should be preparing the plate for the guests because they're mm -hmm. a guest. You know, but if they're now a part of the family, yeah. then of course she can go and make the plates for you know whoever it, mm. it really like i say man for me personally it, it's not really that big of a oh you didn't make my plate oh you know i'm not gonna be mad i'm not stuck on no bullshit like that but um yeah i don't know it should that shouldn't be a, a topic of any type of uh disagreement argument fuss <laughs> You know yeah, I, I think I think if people make it more big of a deal mm -hmm. than it has to be. Yo, awesome. I remember like last year when me and Kiki uh, was going through a lot and stuff. Like we used to be petty when it came to food. Like like she would go get food for her and Naya, <laughs> or hey. she would cook for her and Naya. And I was like, what the fuck? And so one day I was like, I was like, listen. I just don't think it's it's okay. Like I was like, you know, when I pick up food, I call you and ask you, do you want anything? Mm -hmm. Or if I cook, I cook for the three of us, uh, you know, in the household. So we had to come to an agreement that like 
whoever, like if she's picking up or I'm picking up, we still got to get it for each other. And then whoever's cooking, you cook enough for three people, you petty ass. Like Mm -hmm. we had to, we had to literally sit down and have that conversation. Cause I was just like, I was like, it's not, it's not. You know, but you know, food food is one of the reasons I would probably get mad over something. So I guess she was just That's doing something. She yeah, she's just trying to push mad. my buttons. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, me and I eat. Yeah, what you gonna do? A couple nights, I just had I just had some cereal because I was like, you know what? I, I ain't even going. Food in the trash. <laughs> I would knocked all that on the floor. Girl, I used to want to. What you think you doing? I used to be like, go back in the closet, crazy Reese. Go back. <laughs> <laughs> um. So I had seen this this post and y'all y'all tell me what y'all think. So the guy said his he's not gonna be mad at his girlfriend for cheating on him. And he's not gonna go and beat the guy up, but he's gonna go and ask the guy out for drinks to talk to see what he was doing to make his girlfriend cheat on him so that he can grow and get better. Would y'all do that? Fuck no. <laughs> say, say it loud as shit. <laughs> the fuck? No. I would want to, I would, I would talk to the, That's to something the, I'm going to talk to my girl about. I'm going to talk to my girl like, and, and I'm, first of all, I, I ain't do shit for you to cheat. Okay. Mm-hmm. Because communication is key. Mm-hmm. If I'm lacking somewhere, you need to say you are lacking in the intimacy department or mm-hmm. you're lacking in. Um, whatever department, you know, like, cause I'm that type of person. Like if I'm feeling some kind of way, I'm like, Hey, um, you know, or if you, even if you feel like you're not attracted to me no more, like if I gain some weight or something and you feel like, Oh, well you gain weight, like say that shit to me. Right. Like, I think you gain weight and you know, um, I'm just feeling less attracted to you and let me, you know, let me fix it before mm-hmm. you go cheat. I ain't do shit. I don't know something. I don't know something is wrong if you don't tell me. Right. I agree. So I'm not talking to no no other bitch or no other nigga, whoever you cheated with, about shit. I ain't playing no victim. I'm beating the ass or cheating back. It's like, no, nah, I ain't doing that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would talk to both. I would talk to <laughs> him to figure out because I, I'm a communicator too. Like, can we talk? Like, let me know what's going on throughout the relationship. Like, what's happening? How you feeling? What you like? What you don't like? Whatever. You still into me. You're not. Like, what's happening? So, if he was to cheat, then, I, you know, I would talk to him. But then I would want to talk to her, too. Like, what the fuck? Like, what's going on? How long y'all been talking? Like, what, what, what happened? Like, I don't give a fuck about none of that. I would want to... I want to know... It's just a lot of things that happen in my life that I really want to know answers to that I just don't. So, that's just me. I would, I would want answers. Like... Uh, no, what? I ain't talking to the bitch because it it depends on if I even beat up the other girl or not. If the girl I knew she don't about know. that's what, that's why I was going to say I was about to use an example. So you remember with my ex, uh, my second girlfriend, my second real relationship, mm-hmm. I'll say. So when she she used to cheat on me all the time, but one time when a girl had contacted me, she was like, "Yeah, I know y'all together, blah blah blah." Oh, I, I was trying to beat her ass. I sent her, like, my address and everything. I was like, yo, slide through so I can beat that ass. Like, I, I wanted to go to her job and everything. Like, I was so fucking pissed because she knew, right? Mm-hmm. But the girl that I bumped into, remember I, um, I caught her cheating? I bumped mm-hmm. in. We both, both, me and another girl that she was talking to both popped up at her job at the same time. But that girl did not know. So I had to hold back wanting to choke the shit out of her. Because she was a, a victim too, mm-hmm. in a sense. Like she did not know, so I I couldn't sit up there and get mad at her. Also, I'm like I'm to the point where I would not get mad at um at someone because I I don't know I talk I think I talked to two people before when I knew they was in relationships and they was in relationship with big bitches too. So I was like, damn man, if I gotta fight these bitches, shit. Like luckily. Oh, I mean, and, and they end up finding out. Both both of the big bitches mm-hmm. end up finding out. But, you know, luckily, we didn't mm-hmm. get into a, a physical altercation because I was going to have to stick and move on them big joints. Mm-hmm. I was like, why the, why the fuck bitches that like like big fat hoes? Like Amazon bitches. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, I, and I definitely didn't care in either situation. Um, but I will say, in my defense... Once the girlfriend found out, I did stop. Like, with the first time that happened, when I was talking to a Murray girl, um, you know, once the once the girlfriend found out, 
I stopped talking to her on that level. If and I then, was talking to a married person and the person found out, I probably wouldn't stop because if they didn't find out, I would I would have not stopped because I was already talking to them and I knew they was married. I mean, yeah, but it's different. I, I don't want. I didn't want to hurt the girl. You know, feelings on. It was already hurt. You, yeah, was already but done. but then we stopped. So. And then she just went on to another girl. Who she did. She cute. did. She she uh she still was cheating. She still is cheating currently. I was just like, oh well. That's and then crazy. like the last one, um, you know. I, I didn't even stop talking to her because she found um I didn't stop talking to the girl because her girlfriend found out. I stopped talking to the girl because it was getting toxic. We were like it was it was too much. Mm-hmm. Um so that's why I stopped talking to her. But when the girlfriend found out, I did feel bad because the girlfriend was like, Y'all, um, you know, y'all breaking my heart, blah, 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 all that stuff. Um, she didn't say it to me, but she said it to the girl. And the girl that's said so it to me. So I was just like Whatever. I think that was the first time we stopped. We had stopped talking, and then we ended up started back talking. And then the girl found after, out again. So I was, the girl said, yeah, breaking her heart. <laughs> and then the girl found out again, and I was like, God damn it! I was like, How you don't know how to cheat properly? But mm-hmm. the the girl wasn't a cheater, so of course she would get caught because she didn't know. You know, she normally doesn't do stuff like that, so. She, she, was she didn't know how to hide it. Right. I was like, God, can you fucking act like... I mean, I'm not a cheater. I've never cheated in a relationship. But I'm pretty sure I'd be pretty fucking good at it. Uh, I wouldn't. I'd get home. I'd be drunk talking. I went out with this person. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'd Tell be good at it. Business. But... Nah, I, I'm, I just don't feel the need to cheat when I'm in a relationship. Like... If I want to fuck somebody, I feel like I should be able to go to my partner and be like, I'm sexually attracted to this person, kind of want to fuck them, probably not going to fuck them, but I'm just letting you know what's going on in my head. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, something like that. Um, And I would expect my person to come to me and say the same thing. Like, you know, don't don't, don't come to me telling me that you want, like, to date a whole nother bitch. No. That's absolutely not going to happen. But... If you want to smash, shorty, absolutely. Go mm-hmm. smash. I mean, I would prefer, you know, me and a guy and us being faithful to each other. But, you know, I ain't going to get mad if he tell me. I, I, yeah, I feel like it's open communication. I, I really feel like you can't expect, even when you're married, that your person is not going to look at somebody else and be like, damn, that person's sexy. Mm-hmm. Or, damn, I would smash. Or mm-hmm. anything like that. You know what I'm saying? So... I don't know. Like, the, the relationship I had told y'all about where the girl kept cheating on me, when we was wild. We were younger 10 years ago, 11 no, years ago. We was wild. <laughs> but, you know, um, that's how we had most of the girls that we talked to together. Because I was like, I would call her like, yo, <laughs> show you at my job is... Man, that drink. thing. <laughs> and that's how we ended up talking to people together. Mm-hmm. And that was cool. But when she started doing the shit behind my back is when I was mad. Because I was bringing, mm-hmm. I'm bringing shorties to us. And you being and selfish and keeping shorties to yourself. Yeah, that's the thing. Because like, <laughs> if you open that door and then they just feel like they can just be out and doing whatever. No. that With that's, or without you. No, that, that wasn't the agreement we had. We had an agreement. But that relationship was just fun. Like it was just, it was straight up fun. That's but still you, my you was definitely you fell for her or something because you was crying. Yeah, I was. I was crying because she hurt my feelings. How are you yeah, gonna like, sneak and do bitch. some stuff behind my back? Some like I said, shit. I can, I can deal with you sleeping with somebody. That part won't hurt my feelings. Mm-hmm. My feelings is gonna get hurt because I'm like, you lied to me about what you were doing, who you were with. Like, don't lie to me. That that's a, a first surefire way to hurt my feelings, mm-hmm. lying to me. Now all she had to do was say, "Yo, I want this shorty, mm-hmm. but can I get her by myself?" And I'd have been like, "Absolutely, mm-hmm. get her by yourself. I don't care, but don't sneak and do the shit." Because that's yeah, uh, that that's probably stuff. time that I was trying to spend with you, and then you telling me you busy doing something else when you really with the girl, right? So that that's why I think it's it's different levels to, um, you know. Cheating and stuff, in a sense, like I feel like I, I feel like you should just be able to talk to your partner about anything. Like I'm that type of person. I want to talk to you about anything, and I, and that's not only including like if like if we do have agreements on dating people and stuff like that. 
And then I'm like, all right, well, I kind of want you to take a break on dating other people. I feel like, you know, it should be a, not not no big thing or nothing like that, you know? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I get myself in situations that <laughs> I, I don't. You know how, like, you, you get in new situations so you don't know how to react to certain things because you don't have anything to compare it to? Mm-hmm. That's it. That's how I be. So, <laughs> I'm, I'm just trying to get my life. I'm, I'm going with the flow with literally everything in my life yes. right now. Go with the wind. <laughs> um, all right. So, my last thing. So, it was a post, right? And it was a lot of comments on it that I did not fucking read because I don't got time for that. Um, I love reading but, comments. Those shits be funny. <laughs> um, but the post said, if a man leave, he found something better. But he came back. Like, if he come back to the person that he left for, because the other girl wouldn't put up with his bullshit. So, do you, do you believe that that's true? Like, so he, he left because he found somebody. And the girl ain't putting up with the same shit that this girl was putting up with. So, now he's coming back. Um, that could be a reason. I mean, also, I, I feel like a lot of people leave somebody for somebody else because they think the grass is greener on that side mm-hmm. or the sex might be better on that side, but mm-hmm. you're not thinking about every, you know, every other thing that could, you know, that you'll miss. Right. You know, so, um, it could be, it could be though. I think, yeah, I agree. I think they... He or in that situation, I think he definitely left because he thought he found something better. And but then I'm like, well, he could have came back because he missed her and he loved her. It don't have to be because that didn't work out. Maybe he just wasn't attracted to her like he thought he was. Or well, maybe I don't. I never left somebody for somebody else. But my very first girlfriend left me for somebody, and then we ended up getting back. You know, when when we kind of got back together. I think she just, you know, I, she, she left me for that person because that person was satisfying her sexually. Mm-hmm. But, you know, mentally, she wasn't me mm-hmm. in a sense because I'm fucking awesome. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, you get my drift, though. Yeah. Like, no no funny. Well, yes, yeah, funny, but no funny mm-hmm. stuff. Um, You get my drift. Like, so it's like, I like I said, I feel like a lot of people leave somebody else because it's either money or sex. Um... I left somebody for somebody. Really? Yeah. But, I mean, technically, it was like one of my fake relationships. Mm -hmm. So, I technically didn't leave him for him. But, yeah. Because I stopped talking to him. I was like, "Uh, I got to go. But I told him. I told him. I was like, "Um, I'm going over here with this guy. And I can't talk to you no more. Whole time, the other guy... (laughs) We was never in a relationship. <laughs> I was like, no, I got to go because he about to be my boyfriend and girl. My boyfriend. Fooled the fuck out of me. I ain't go back though. Shit. Like, uh, oh, well, that shit ain't work out. It's fine though. Um, But not to say that I, if he was somebody different, I probably would have went back because I don't have a problem with going back to like exes or, you know, situationships or whatever. And it's so funny because yesterday I was talking to one of my cousins and she was like, um, we was talking about uh, my ex-boyfriend. And she was like, um, that's good that y'all cool. And I'm like, yeah. And she was like, but why you keep talking to him? Like, y'all stop talking to him. You stop talking to him a couple months or a couple years, whatever. You go back talk to him. I'm like, well, because it's comfortable. And she's like, that is so right because it's comfortable. I mean, yeah, like we can talk about anything. We can hang out. And be up all night talking or whatever. We can do anything because I know him. He know me. It's not like it's a strange person, you know. Mm-hmm. Not that I can't like be myself in front of like other people, but just to know like if I call, I'm like, "Hey, what's up? What you doing? Let's hang." And he come. Fine. That, that's definitely one of the reasons I like to be like hanging out with people I used to talk to mm-hmm. or um, be in a relationship with because. You already know, like all oh, my my shitty stink, mm-hmm. right? So it's just, it's so easy, right? It's so thing, easy like... to come and we chill, 
or we hang out, we go to a bar, I could talk to you about my relationship, you can talk to me about yours, because mm-hmm. they, they know kind of how to deal with you, and they know how to, like, they probably could tell you, like, okay, well, you was wrong in that situation, mm-hmm. you, you know, because they they probably dealt with it already with you. Right. So I think it's, um, that's why I think, you know, it's, it's pretty dope to still be friends with people mm-hmm. like that. I don't know. But this is, this kind of made me think of it, but earlier this week, my very first girlfriend, Followed me on Instagram. So we broke up at least 11 years ago, um, according to Facebook memories. Yes. <laughs> at least 11 years ago. And um, so she she followed me on Instagram. And I was going to slide in her DM after a while and be like, hey, girl, how you been? You know, stuff like that. Trying to get hit. And I'm not going to, absolutely not going to answer <laughs> that. Um but I definitely would see if she want to link up, um, you know, after a while to to hang or catch up. Or we could just catch up over the phone, too, for real, for real. I don't care. Mm-hmm. But um, I was like, I, w- I was blocked for a whole 11 years. It took 11 years for I was to get blocked over for a whole... I don't think it took 11 years to get over it. I think it just, you know, it just now is like, well, why why are you still blocked? And she probably... I, I do had tagged me in a post, so I think she saw that post and then that's when she was like oh she probably was i mean i'm assuming she probably was like oh shit she's still blocked let me unblock mm-hmm. her and follow her i think that's probably what happened um because we definitely was over it years ago well it took me years to get over it but you get what i'm saying mm-hmm. <laughs> i didn't get over her until man i swear it was like two or three years later it was it was around the time i met kiki is when i finally got over mm-hmm. her I couldn't believe it. it took me that long. Like, girl, when you love somebody, it's like a girl, long, 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 I used long to time. randomly be crying over that home and everything. <laughs> and I'm like, it's been years. Like, I haven't talked about her. She not thinking about me. And here I am, still mm-hmm. like, damn. You know, girl, listen, because I be having my little moments. I'm like, oh. I, was a, <laughs> I was a fucking fool. But again, it was so long ago mm-hmm. that you know, because I think I think we broke up. Yeah, about 11 years ago. And then we stopped talking to each other about nine-ish years ago. Mm-hmm. So, because we were still kind of like on and off after we broke up. I don't know. That, that shit was crazy. That whole situation, all, everything. Like, I, if I started telling y'all stories about that shit, y'all would be like, yeah. Are you going to ever tell us? I will. I don't care. But it was one. One. Okay. All right, one. So when, when her and I first broke up, um, and I started talking to the girl that was always cheating on me. Mm-hmm. So I told you, I mean, the first girl had terrible sex, mm-hmm. like just absolutely terrible. So when I met the second one and we started having sex, I took everything I learned from the second one mm-hmm. back to the first one, mm-hmm. right? Because I was like, oh, I, I, I eat pussy now, baby. <laughs> so... I took everything back, and then I was for at least, I don't know, it had to be a good six months to a year. It's been so long, so I, I don't remember the exact time, but um, I was going, I was talking to both of them at the same time. So I guess- I remember when, they, sorry to cut you off, but I remember when they was beefing, right? And it was oh, so gosh. funny, because they were putting all of these posts on social media to my, and they was like going, like one of them would post a video- Talking all this trash to the other girl and and tag them and then this one to post it and, and and talk the trash and then tag the other one. I'm like, oh, it's crazy. I it ended up so making funny. them block each other because it was it was getting a mess. But I will say that they would not um, disrespect each other in person. You know, mm-hmm. stuff like that. Like they just talk trash over internet and stuff. But anyway, so yeah, it I was, was in talking a whole three way relationship. No, it wasn't a three-way relationship because they didn't like each other. Three-way oh. relationship is all three right, people okay. together. Yeah. Um, but, you know, so I was dating both. And it was crazy because I would be like, you know, back then it was Skype. So I would be spending the night with one of them and on, like, on Skype with another one. Mm-hmm. And oh, stuff. What was the other one? Voodoo? Voodoo? Uh, I, I know what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. I don't remember. <laughs> but... Um, <laughs> Yeah, we were like I was just it was it was a mess and I, that was the only time I like had kind of like really really dated two people at one time mm-hmm. and it was just a struggle because they didn't like each other. Mm-hmm. Like, I think if they would have liked each other it would have been fine, but they could not stand each other and I was just like 
I don't understand. <laughs> I was like, I don't, don't I don't bring y'all alone. around each other. I don't do anything disrespectful, you know, like like if I if one called me while I was with the other one, I would, you know, I wouldn't say on the phone too long, but I would answer and be like, hey, you know, no, I'm I'm hanging with such and such or whatever, you know, mm-hmm. I'll call you back in a bit or something like that. So but I guess that that second relationship started out hella toxic. That's why her ass kept cheating. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because, she probably thought she was cheating or messing with somebody. Still. But the difference was she knew. She knew going into that that I was still in love with my ex at the time. Mm-hmm. She knew that. <clears throat> so I didn't I never hit it. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, when I started back when I was talking to both of them, both of them knew. Again, I did not hide anything. Both of them knew it. So, and then I don't know how I ended up not talking to the first girlfriend no more. Um, and then I ended up just talking to the second one. Mm-hmm. Um, I think after a while, it just like, we, we just couldn't do it no more. Cause I was, I was always afraid that she was going to be cheating on me. And, and I knew how bad it hurt when mm-hmm. she left me for somebody the first time. Mm-hmm. So me, I, I knew I was like, I can't get myself wrapped up in that again, but mm-hmm. I also didn't want to let her go. Mm-hmm. So it was just, it was, it was a fucking mess. And then like when she wanted to get back in a relationship, I didn't. And then when I did, she didn't. Mm-hmm. And then I think the last time, I think the last official time we had stopped talking, um, we had went to the Leros or something, whatever is over there in Columbia Heights. And it was like some of her coworkers and stuff like that. And I was asking her coworkers, I was like, you know, I was like, the girl she talks to, you know, do you think she really in love? Do you think she happy? And stuff like that. And I was talking to them and I was like, um, because I knew one of them personally. And then, you know, he knew her from working with her. Mm-hmm. And I was like, um, I was like, listen, if you really, really think that she is happy with this girl, I will stop. Mm-hmm. I will stop trying my hand to, to get back with her. But if you really think that she's not happy, then I want to get back with her. Mm-hmm. And the guy was like, I think y'all, he was like, my honest opinion is I think y'all need to go y'all separate ways. You know, um, she is, she is happy enough, you know? And he was like, you know, you always messing up her stuff and you know, who she talking to and stuff like that. And you, you know, y'all just need to go y'all separate ways. And I don't know what happened. I don't know if she went to the bathroom or I just, was like I gotta go or something, but I ended up leaving the restaurant and I was crying. Mm-hmm. I was crying really, really bad. And I remember going sitting in my car and I was sitting in my car crying and I was like, because I was trying to debate on what I wanted to do, like if I wanted to pursue her, like listen, I really, really want this, mm-hmm. like let's try to make it work, or if I wanted to leave her, because at that time it had been two years of us going back and forth. Mm-hmm. So I was like, you know, I gotta figure out. What I wanted to do. And then ultimately, you know, I don't remember if she chose the girl or I kind of fell back and, you know, mm-hmm. gave her the choice or whatever. I, I don't remember exactly what happened, but, you know, she ended up with the girl and I still believe they're still, I, I believe they're still together now and stuff. Um, so, you know, I, I'm happy that I did that. I'm I don't happy think that I. That they are together because she, she used to post her like years ago a lot and, and she don't. Not saying, I mean, but I don't know. Cause they could I think, be, I think they they're still, still together be. because um, when she followed me on Instagram, I was just looking at random pictures on her page and mm-hmm. the girl was on there just a few months ago. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, I, I think they're still together. Mm-hmm. I didn't ask, but I am going to reach out, you know, and then just catch up and stuff. Mm-hmm. So I'll find out. But yeah, I, I definitely like, I, I was like, I got, I had to, I had to leave that alone. Mm-hmm. Like it was so toxic. It was so that's, so. That's my fear toxic. now, though, and I think that's why, like, I I have up a wall because, like, and I don't I do not want to fall for nobody. I think that's why I come off like aggressive and, and attitude to a lot of guys because I do not want to feel that pain ever right, in right. life. Like, I'm, and I'm, I'm just like, yo, I'm I'm getting to the, the age where I ain't gonna beat you up this time. Girl, that shit is the like worst. you're gonna get more yeah. than that. Like, so um, yeah, and and that's, I think that's why I'm so guarded with my with my feelings now. Um, you know, I definitely have a wall build up. I'm trying to knock it down. It's just super hard. And then, like I said, I put myself in these situations that I don't know how, what to do, how to act, and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Like, 
So I don't know because I, I want to say something, but I don't want to go into detail about it. But anyway, I was gonna say like how if you're if you're dating right mm-hmm. someone, let's say mm-hmm. you're dating two people, mm-hmm. for example, okay. right? And or let's say this: what if you go into a situation mm-hmm. right that's already established, mm-hmm. right? Like a relationship. Yeah. Okay. What do you what do you do for your feelings? You know what I'm saying? Like do you um it, 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 like explore it as like a really potential fall in love and, and just make that whole throttle situation work? Or do you like keep up that wall because you know you'll never be on the same level as they are? Me, I would definitely keep a wall up i would just be in it for the moment because i feel and it, it's it could work and i have seen relationships work three ways over the three ways but i'm like i me coming into it like they was already there they already got this mm-hmm. bond and so I, I i'm not gonna be on the same level as as her like right it's like it's like how I do you i, I want to feel important you, too like right how you, right how do you mm-hmm. this like who I don't know. I guess I'm trying to like put roles in the play, mm-hmm. and that's why I'm just like you know, well, who's more important? Who is this? Who is this? Mm-hmm. Like you know, stuff like that. So I don't know. I think it. I think stuff like that is definitely weird, <laughs> especially for yeah. somebody like me because I just don't. I don't know. I don't know if I would want to go into because you know I've always said I want a three way relationship. I always mm-hmm. say when I got married I wanted to get a girlfriend because I just feel like a three. Adult household is just so much better mm-hmm. than two. I'm a firm believer in that, mm-hmm. you know, but obviously I never got that that to marriage to where I can get a girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm also like, do is it easier to go into somebody like, like if I were to get married and then I bring in a girlfriend or is it like to where it's like you kind of meet two people and then you bring them all together at once while y'all all trying to meet each other? And so, so you, yeah, it's just like I don't know. I think I think it's better to go into something because it's easier, you know, as far as trying to get to know each other and stuff, as opposed to all three of y'all. Yeah, like not really knowing each other and stuff. I like would that. I would definitely go into to a relationship, but I'm just not going to like have my all in it. I guess. I, I mean, I would try to go with the flow, you know, mm-hmm. but. And whatever happens, happen. But I'm, I'm still guarded too. Right. So, and then I'm also like, as much as I'm down for you know three people, I'm also a jealous person. Is like, you got to show us both the same amount of attention. Yeah. And because and then I'm gonna try to show you guys the same amount of attention and stuff like that. So, but it's also like I said, if you going into something, you obviously are not gonna get the same amount of attention as. Right. Right. The other person. So I don't know. It's funny. One of my cousins, she was like, um, she was like, I want two guys, but no, she was like, I want three way relationship. But she was like, I want two guys because she wants the attention to always be on her. She thinks that if she gets, if it's a guy, her and another girl, Mm -hmm. then the girl is going to be getting some, you know, more attention than her sometimes. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I absolutely feel that nobody wants to feel like the odd man out Mm -hmm. or anything like that. But I think is it, it falls back down to communication again. Like mm-hmm. communicate. Like, hey, well, I feel like you know I don't get as much attention from you as you get from this person. You know, can you try to work on it, stuff like that, and just see how it goes. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'll just be in it for the moment. Have fun. See what happens. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Mm. Well, that's all I have. I do have a fun fact in closing, guys. So, fun fact. I like and fun facts. Did y'all know that um, Delaware is the number two um, state in the world to, um, like, that's the best place to raise black boys? No, I mm-hmm. did not know that. And number two. Yeah. Only, like, two hours away. Is it, it any is um, it? specific uh, county? Not sure. I'll find that out. <laughs> I find it out, but no. One of my coworkers was talking to me. I was talking to her the other day, and she was like, she just googled to see like where she can move and all that because she got a son. And she was like, yeah, I'm going to go to Delaware. 
I was like, oh, that's a fucking goat. Yeah, oh, tell yeah. her to narrow it down because Delaware is a fairly bigger state. I think every, I mean, it's not, but it's anything, everything is bigger than DC. So that's why I say everything, you know, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm always saying the other states are huge because yeah. everywhere is bigger than DC. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, definitely tell her to, you know, narrow it down a little so she doesn't go to, you know, a wrong part or mm-hmm. something like that. But I have a fun fact too. Can I say it? Mm-hmm. So y'all know Wheaton Metro Station mm-hmm. is the longest escalators in the United States. What? Yeah. I, I didn't I know that. I feel like it was something longer. Huh? I used to run up and down those all the time. Uh-uh. I wasn't there. I, didn't I was not fucking that. there. But I definitely know that. Long. longer I than the zoo? Wait, is it? I think the zoo ones was long. Was long. The zoo ones are long, but no, Wheaton is longer. Wow. Yeah, I know. That. Wheaton the escalators the, at the metro station is it's definitely longer. I think I only got the train there one time. Maybe that's why I don't remember. Yeah, I used to get the train there a lot. That's that's why I um, remember. And like, cause I, I normally walk up escalators, and that one I used to sit. That one UDC. Um, yeah. Uh, I I just be sitting there staring uh, at the top like that. God damn it! Wait, I'm gonna get to the top. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I thought I thought that was a pretty funny fun fact. Yeah, that is. I'm gonna try to get another one next week. But yes, so we're checking out. Peace, love, and positivity. Oh, episode one forty six.